video here. Uh, we're going to showcase a little bit about the Bob Smith uh, Instaset and the Uncure. Um, these are kind of, you can almost think of them as two sides of the same coin. Um, the Instaset is a aerosol product. They have some large containers that are compressed and then they have some smaller ones that are just a, a pump, uh, but it will spray an accelerator onto any kind of uh, cyanoacrylic super glue. Um, and it pretty much chemically causes it to fire off and cure almost instantly, almost by the time you put the bottle down. Um, there are pros and cons with uh, the Instaset accelerator or any accelerator. Um, it, it is handy. It, it, get, it allows you to get to the next step very quickly. Um, possibly some negatives are, you know, you have to be careful on painted surfaces, some clear surfaces. Um, also, if you use um, the Instaset to cure your glue and your project, it, it most likely will offer you less strength. Um, and the reason for that is, is you've stopped the penetration process into whatever it is, wood, you know, cardboard, ceramic, whatever. When you hit it with the accelerator, it cures, so it's no longer penetrating your material. So do keep that in mind anytime you use the accelerator. Um, is that um, you know there's there's pros and cons to it, but if if you're not looking for real strength or you you need to get in or you have perhaps a lot of glue built up, um, the accelerator is is going to be a great way to to cure that um, down. Now now back to if you have a large clump of glue or a cavity or a pocket that's full of glue, um, this will cure the surface and develop a skin. Um, so you're, you're going to have issues penetrating that deep down. So you might, uh, you know, you might want to, if you have to fill a big void, you know, sometimes people will use the super glues for sanding purposes and filling, and you can do that. Um, you might try using a small amount, fill it up, uh, you know, fill it up partially, cure it. F build up a couple different applications, and then you're going to make sure that it's going to cure all the way down to, to, to the very bottom of what you're doing. Um, another purpose is, you know, if you're doing large surfaces, you know, doing planks or laminating something, um, you would be using a glue. Um, you're going to, you know, kind of glue whatever you might, whatever your needs are, um, and you're going to bring those together real quick. And this is this is still moving around a little bit, so if you wanted to, you can hit that with the accelerator, and pretty much by the time that you let that bottle down, it's cured. Um, sometimes, you know, I've got this small piece of scrap in my hands. Sometimes you don't have the ability to do that. So a, a less favorite alternative that, that does work in, in some instances is you can apply the glue to your project. And what you will be able to do is you will be able to, in turn, take the surface that's going to mate to your glued surface and you can apply some accelerator to that and then very quickly depress. Um, this is not a preferred method in my personal opinion because you have sprayed accelerator to one surface of the wood. So once you join that you've essentially you've sealed the, the, the side that had the accelerator on it you have sealed that. As soon as super glue touches that chemical which is on the surface you've stopped it. It can't penetrate anymore. So so even though this is a really good bond um, it's it's not my favorite. A little bit of patience you know something like this applying to the outside giving it some time to cure to the center this is going to be a stronger bond than, than something like this but sometimes you don't have the luxuries or the space to be able to, to get that kind of application. So that's that's going to be some different ways that you can use uh, the accelerator. Um, an, another good point with accelerator is you're going to want to keep this in, in a sandwich bag. I mean, it's okay to keep it on your bench next to your super glue, but this stuff evaporates. It's it, it will evaporate, and if you place it next to your super glue, you are effectively curing your super glue. Um, these, these caps that they have are are not an airtight uh, fit. They're just a little uh, snap tight fit. Um, they are, they do vent a little bit to air, so that will cure your glue. So good uh, good tip is put that in a sandwich baggie, maybe maybe next to your uncure. And the uncure, um, this is going to be 
um, you're definitely going to want to have this on your bench. Uh, if you maybe have a little bit of a spill or some excessive glue or you, you glue yourself to yourself, um, you're going to be able to, you know, this, this uh, I believe is a nitromethane property based kind of uh, uh, liquid and it kind of chemically works similar to acetone and, and a lot of other stuff, but it, it, it really penetrates better than, than acetone. Um, and, and you're going to be able to just take that right off. Um, when you're using it on a project or something like that, it can be used for cleanup. Um, and you, you will need to use a lot of this product. Um, the, the glue is absorbed by the wood and it's, it's very deep. And if you have a good airtight joint and a, and a good bond with no regularities, there is no way for the, for the product to really get in there. It, it's going to take a lot of saturation and sometimes if it's just a perfect glue joint, debonder is not going to work. You, you have no way to get the debonder to the glue that's, that's still holding you. So, you know, something like this, it's, it's starting to turn loose. So we could probably do a couple of applications kind of liberally here, give it a couple seconds to work and you will be able to, to kind of get these, these apart. Um, and, and reuse it, but um, if, if sometimes this just will not get you out of the jam. Um, and then of course, you know, st store that away from your glue because it will kind of just, it won't cure your glue, it'll still be liquid, but it, it will never cure. So you'll, you'll always have kind of wet glue. Um, another, another use for the accelerator is if you, there's, there's some different ways you can use, you know, some, some super glue, like if you needed to have a lot of strength, Super glue is, is not going to be a good job for, for something like this because it, it you know it, it, it's just not going to get a, a good bond. There's not a lot of contacting surface. So in an instance like this, you can kind of be unconventional with how you use uh, some of the super glues. Um, and I'll show you what that means. You're going to be able to use uh, string, um, uh, unwaxed uh, dental floss. There's going to be a lot of different. Uh, things you can use but any kind of you know string anything uh, will, will will work for this um, we're gonna do a little bit of glue just this is not for strength right here we are just going to immobilize these so that we can work with them a little bit of a little bit of accelerator let that uh, dry wipe off some excess now what we're going to be able to do and and you just don't want to use like fishing line or or cable or anything you want to use something that is going to be able to uh, absorb the glue that's going to be the the key is to be able to absorb the glue so what we're going to do is we're just going to take some of the string tie it around one of the pieces small dot of glue to immobilize that and then kind of just going to make a little cast and what this is going to do is this is now going to provide the strength we're going to use the glue to to kind of reinforce this almost like we're making a a cast um, and by doing this it is going to huh, it's 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 going to allow the super glue to kind of it, it's really like making a cast um, and you're going to want to use the accelerator because when you saturate this with glue the string is going to prevent you know that action from from really drying um, so with the accelerator you're going to be able to get past everything um, you know get get the accelerator down to the the lower you know depths of the glue and it, it's you're going to get a good bond um, this is also pretty common to see things like this if uh, maybe you were building a model aircraft or something like this this is a, a pretty good way for uh, push rods to be joined and, and such so once you've got you know a little cast on there um, and this is, this is kind of relatively strong but we're not done yet we're going to take at this point and we're going to just kind of saturate this with some with some super glue um, really and this this might be an issue I sh probably should have used a thinner viscosity super glue but this is this is a brand new bottle of glue it's still very watery so we're gonna be able to just saturate this with this glue 
And with this much glue, it's, it's going to take a little bit to dry. So we're going to use that accelerator and make sure that it gets down to the very deep portions of that and really gets that cured. And this uh, will <laughs> this will not break. It will break around this. Um, and that may actually, you know, because of how thick that super glue is right up next to the wooden dowel, we may need to apply a couple of, of spritzes just because once once the accelerator comes in contact and cures glue, you see that smoking, that's that uh, exothermic <laughs> reaction uh, to, to natural fibers. So definitely make sure that, uh, you know, you're, you don't drip any of this on your clothes because you may get a chemical burn. Um, but uh, once this is kind of kind of dry and that's that's dry to the touch right there and that is warm let me tell you ladies and gentlemen um, but with something like that I mean that is a very superior bond and I guarantee you if that was glue alone that would have just sheared in half so there are some different ways that you can use uh, the uh, the debonder um, and there are different ways you can use the insta set um, to to really you know make uh, make your modeling or your repairs a lot easier um, and uh, They've, they've made some really good products. Uh, hope you liked the video, and uh, any questions, uh, please look at the comment section below. Um, and, and we're just trying to, uh, we're trying to build knowledge, so if there's anything I've left out that uh, is important, or any tips that uh, anyone has, has found that really work for them, uh, please share. Uh, knowledge is power, and uh, we appreciate it all. Um, have a great day for tuning in the video, and uh, thank you very much. Thanks for watching this Model Merchants video, and uh, don't forget to check out modelmerchants.com. Um, and please do remember, if any of this video was helpful today, please hit like, uh, share it. Um, there are some coupons that we have that we'll link in the comment and description section below. So definitely like that, share that. Um, we just want to get the knowledge out there. And, uh, you know, please stay tuned. They're always changing. So, uh, so definitely check back with us and uh, happy modeling.